Hi, it's Daryl Kramer from DarylKramer.com, and I'm just going to walk you through getting Twitter tools up and running on your blog so that every time you post a new entry, uh, you auto-tweet that to your Twitter account with a link uh, back to the blog post so you can get your message out uh, on your Twitter network to all your followers uh, without actually having to do anything extra. Uh, as soon as you hit publish, it winds up doing it. So the first thing, you're in your WordPress admin area, and you go to plugins, and you click on add a new plugin and now we're just going to search for Twitter tools and you'll see when the search comes back it is the first one so you'll go ahead and click install and just follow the instructions now I already have it installed uh, in my account so what I'm going to do now is scroll down and click on the Twitter tools under the settings so once you have the plugin installed and ready to go you'll notice uh, a new entry under the settings menu so we'll click into Twitter tools and this gives you all of your settings uh, that you'll need to set up one time only and then it'll be able to uh, auto tweet every new post that you do. So you put in your username and password, you click test the login info, make sure everything is good. You'll want to make sure this drop down is set to yes so that uh, it creates a tweet every time you post to your blog. And you can change the prefix. So if you want to say new blog post on DarylKramer.com, you could do that. Uh, whatever you want to customize it as, uh, you can do that. And you will you come down, you can set it on by default. So that way uh, it always tweets every time you do a post. You can also create blog posts from each of your tweets. Now I tried this out for a bit, but I didn't really like it. So I wound up turning it off and actually deleting uh, all the posts. Because you can put you know your latest tweets uh, in a widget on the side. Uh, or just have a link to your Twitter account. Your Twitter profile on your blog as well so that they can go there and get all your tweets so it's sort of redundant and uh, I wound up turning that off don't really have to worry about category or tags because we're not going to create that blog post from your tweets uh, or the author or the replies now if you want to use the widget that Twitter tools has and, and I have that on my website uh, you can set the number of tweets that you show uh, from your timeline in that little widget on the side so We'll do that there. It also allows you if you want to create tweets from your sidebar. So if you are, uh, you give the person the ability to, to do a tweet and they would actually uh, be able to tweet right from that widget. So I don't have that. And uh, give Twitter, Twitter tools credit. I left that as yes because I think it's a good plugin. And that way it just puts a little uh, Twitter tools in the bottom uh, of your tweet widget on the right hand side so experimental I left this all to know you just click update Twitter tool options and you're good to go and now there's some advanced uh, settings here and I think this is important if you have a bitly account uh, which is a popular URL shortener uh, the tweet deck you can integrate with uh, so that it automatically does that and the nice part about bitly is it actually tracks uh, your clicks real time for any links that you shorten through their their service so Twitter Tools has integration for it where all you have to do is put in your Bitly username, uh, get your API key, which you can find uh, under your account settings uh, on the Bitly webpage, and uh, you plug that in there and then just select the URL to use, which is Bitly uh, or JMP, and save the settings. And then every time Twitter Tools creates that tweet about your new blog post, uh, it'll actually automatically shorten you know, DarylKramer.com slash the date slash whatever the name is all the way down to a bit.ly short link. So it helps uh, if you have a long subject uh, for your blog post to, to get it in there under the 140 characters that Twitter allows for you. And that's it. So Twitter Tools is in. Every time you post, um, you're, able to, uh, you're able to actually, you know, have it auto-tweet uh, to your Twitter account. So if I come back to the post that this video is actually going to be a part of, you'll see if I scroll down here there's a Twitter tools menu and it says send post to Twitter so if you're doing some posts and maybe you don't want them to go uh, out as a tweet you can set that to no the default obviously we set uh, as on back in the settings but for this particular post if for some reason you didn't want it to go out you just click no and then when you're up here and you click publish uh, then it won't send that tweet out so I hope this helps uh, if you did try it out you know, leave me a comment down below just uh, Give me a shout out, let me know if it worked for you, and uh, any other tools or tips that you have that you've got uh, to integrate WordPress with Twitter. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.